Hello everyone. Welcome you all for another new video tutorial. My name is Shanika Vikramasinha and in this video tutorial we are going to look at how to configure PostgreSQL database with Docker. So in this video tutorial I will be using the latest Ubuntu version which is 22.04 LTS version and also will be using the latest PostgreSQL version which is 15.0. Uh, one. Uh, so let's start with the video tutorial. So as the starting point, uh, we need a uh, Docker as a prerequisite uh, to um, proceed with this uh, installation. So first of all, if you don't have Docker already installed in your machine, uh, you need to uh, get Docker installed. So for that, uh, in this video tutorial, I will add a link that you can uh, use uh, to get installed Docker. Uh, for an example, uh, you can use a tutorial like this and simply get uh, Ubuntu, go, uh, simply get uh, Docker installed in your uh, Ubuntu machine. Uh, so after uh, successfully installing a Docker in your machine, you can check whether Docker is successfully running in your machine. So for that, you can use uh, simply two Linux commands, uh, Docker minus V. So this will show the, the version that you are running uh, in your machine. So I'm having Docker version 20.10.21. Apart from that, also you need to check whether Docker is successfully uh, running and whether it's in active state in your machine. So for that, you can use another simple uh, Linux command, which is systemctl status docker. So once you uh, type this command and hit enter, so this will show you whether the Docker service is successfully running in your machine. So in my machine, it, is it, it will be shown as uh, active and in running state. So if this prerequisite is uh, done, then you are good uh, to go ahead and proceed uh, to the Postgres installation with Docker. So first, um, let's see what is the latest uh, PostgreSQL version uh, according to their website. So you can use the latest um, released versions and you can check the latest released version from this website. So here they have mentioned PostgreSQL 15.1 is their current, uh, the latest version. So let's uh, try to install PostgreSQL 15 uh, with Docker. So for this installation, you can use a docker run command uh, like this. So in this command, there are a few uh, things that you need to know. Uh, one thing is, uh, assume that you don't want to specify the exact version uh, that you need to get Postgres installed uh, with Docker. So in that case, you can simply give this Docker image name without specifying without specifying a version. So in that case, it will search version and it will get the latest available uh, PostgreSQL version configured in your machine. So other than that, if you want to specifically download and install a, a version uh, that you prefer, assume you want to download and get installed Postgres 11.5 then you have to specify the docker image name and then here you have to specify the version that you want. Other than that, uh, there are a few other important things also uh, that you need to know uh, regarding this command. So here we have a minus D parameter uh, in this docker run command. So minus D is the parameter that runs the docker container in the detach mode or in the background mode. So if you accidentally close or terminate the command prompt, then the Docker container will still run uh, your Docker in background if you use this minus D command. Then the other important parameter is this minus P parameter. So here you can see there are two ports, um, 5,432. 
so what these two ports uh, what what will be denoted by these two ports so it is like a parameter that establishes a connection between the host port and docker container port in this case both these ports are given as 5432 so that will indicate request sent to the host port will be automatically redirect to the docker container port in addition 5432 is also the same port where postgresql will be accepting request from port apart from that uh, by this minus minus name parameter you can specify a username uh, uh, for this uh, installation and from this minus e postgre password uh, uh, parameter you can uh, specify a test password uh, for your installation and here this will indicate the docker image name and the version that you want to get installed so let's try out this command and see how it so i will type the latest version here and I set the password as test password and I will be giving the latest 15.1 uh, as the version and will be hitting, will hit enter. So now you can see it started to download the image and uh, the status will be shown in the command prompt. So after the successful uh, installation of the image you can uh, see a status in this uh, command prompt as downloaded newer image for postgres and it will specify the version and here uh, a id uh, will be uh, printed in the command line so this will be the id uh, for the docker uh, image or the docker container that uh, that will be getting running in your machine uh, related to this postgres 15.1 image So after the successful installation, next uh, you can log in to the uh, Docker container. So for that, you can use the Docker exec command. So let's try out that command and uh, let's log in to the installed Docker container. So here you have to uh, provide uh, the content, uh, the Docker image name that you used when uh, installing the Docker, uh, when installing the Docker uh, image. this name, Postgres, this name. So now you can see, uh, I logged into the uh, Docker container successfully. Once the uh, login is successful, you can uh, see uh, that it will show root and ID here. Then I need to authenticate um, uh, for the Postgres server. So for that, you can use this su minus Postgres uh, command. So here, some users use su as well. Some users use sudo. So uh, the purpose of this command is to uh, is for the user authentication, and su or sudo will be used uh, to become the Postgres uh, super user. Okay, now I successfully log in as the Postgres user. And here you can see it will show as Postgres at an ID. Next, we can connect for the Postgres server by using this PSQL command. So once I type PSQL, now I log into the Postgres server. Now we are uh, good uh, to create the database in this Postgres server. So once you type this PSQL command, it will also show the version that you are running. So I installed 15.1 using Docker. So it will show me my version is uh, in 15.1. So to create the database, next you have to use the create database command and then you have to provide the database name. So here I will give the name as test db1 and semicolon and hit enter. So the command executed successfully and you can see the status here, create database. 
Next, you have to provide uh, privileges or you have to grant uh, all privileges for this created database. So for that, you can use this command. And here you need to pass the database name that you used when creating the database. So I will give the database name as test db1. It will show me the status as grant. So that means this command got executed successfully. So now we have uh, successfully installed Postgres 15.1 using Docker in Ubuntu 22.04 version. And then we successfully logged into the Docker container. And then we successfully authenticated as the Postgres root user, then connected for the Postgres server and created a database, Postgres database there, and then granted all privileges for that created database. Now, uh, for further uh, DB related operations, you can use a DB client as well uh, to connect for this same uh, database, which is test DB1. So for that, you can use a tool or a DB client like DB Weaver. Uh, in DB Weaver, if you go to this uh, link, so they, are, uh, they have a community uh, version as well as a pro uh, version. So from that, from here, you can select your OS type. As I'm on Linux, I will go down. And from here, you can find the zip version and you can get the latest DB Weaver client downloaded from here. So I have already downloaded it. And now I'm going to run the downloaded DB Weaver client in my machine. I will extract the downloaded file. And inside this, you can find a, a file name as DB Weaver. So we can open a terminal from here. What slash DB Weaver. So this will start the DB Weaver and I'm having a 21.5.2 as my DB Weaver client version. You can get the latest version also downloaded, uh, but the steps will be the same. So once you download it, here you will get a window like this. Uh, here, from here, you have to select what is the database type that you want to connect. So I will select Postgres and click Next. So this will ask me to download the Postgres driver version. So here I can give uh, the option uh, and to download. So it will uh, automatically download the latest uh, driver version uh, for the DB client. Then after that, here you need to uh, input some parameters. Um, it will ask for the host. So as we are running our Docker on local machine, so the host will be localhost. And the port is 5432. And here you need to give the database name. So the database name is test db one and the password. So my password is test password. And my username is Postgres. So once all the parameters are set here, you can test the connection. So if the connection is successful, you will get a window like this uh, and it will show that uh, what is the current Postgres version you are running and also the driver version. So if this is successful, this will show the message as connected. Then next you can proceed to the uh, finish status. So once you click on finish, you will get successfully connected for the database that you created. So after that, from here, you can uh, see the database that you have created, test db one and you can right click on uh, this database and 
go to SQL editor and new SQL script. So this will open you a new uh, SQL script and using this SQL script, you can do, you can run, you can execute any SQL operation that you want to execute against your database. So these are the steps uh, that we can follow to get a PostgreSQL latest version, which is 15.1 installed with uh, Docker on Ubuntu 22.04. Uh, so these steps will be same for any Ubuntu version, any older version as well. So I think this video tutorial will be helpful and will be supportive for you to get start with PostgreSQL uh, on Docker. If you think that this video tutorial is helpful for you, you can subscribe for my YouTube channel. And thank you for watching this video tutorial.